Hello and welcome to the Storm Magic How To video series. Here at Storm Magic, we're producing some training videos for our customers and partners to show how to do certain things in the setup and configuration and general operations of our software products. Those software products being SVSAN, our virtual SAN solution, SVKMS, our key management server for encryption workflows, and ArcVault, our video management surveillance solution. My name is Steve Betterson. I'm a technical pre-sales engineer here at Store Magic. So today we're going to concentrate again on SVSAN and this video we're going to be looking today at how to uh, install an SVSAN witness on a Windows server. So we're going to install that SVSAN witness on the server, check the witness dis um, appears in the discovery of the virtual storage appliances and then apply that witness to a target. Now the witness just for um, a recap is, is designed um, to provide that quorum logic um, in our two node architecture. And the witness can be deployed in many different ways. We are going to concentrate on deploying it as a, uh, on a Windows server, which will run as a service. Uh, the witness can be uh, deployed um, on your vCenter, can be deployed on something as small as a Raspberry Pi. We do a witness as a service as well, so a cloud offering. It can be deployed as a package VM uh, or on a, a Linux machine. So very, very flexible in how we can deploy out the witness. But today we're concentrating on uh, how to install an SV sandwich on a Windows server. So let's jump out of the slides. Now I'm connected to a Windows 2019 server, uh, a remote desktop session here. I've already copied the media onto the um, the local drive of, of the uh, server and created a folder called Store Magic. And inside there, I have the SVSAN 6.2 Update 5 P3 Windows installer. So if I click into there, I'm simply going to just run this setup. Click install here. Agree to that license. Claims there. And then we get this welcome to the Storm Magic SV SAN setup wizard. So just wait for that to refresh so I can move forwards. So what it's doing, searching for installed applications. Um, we haven't got SVSAN installed on this Windows server. So click next. I'm going to accept the terms and the license agreement. Click next. This is where I'm going to go in and click custom because we don't want to deploy a store magic Hyper-V deployment wizard. So all we're interested in is installing the witness. So this media is used to do um, not only install the witness as a windows service but also can be used um, or is used to do the deployment of our vsas on in a hyper v setup so we're going to just tick that um, as we just want the service here so this shows you where it's going to deploy this to um, we're going to click next here Click install. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, complete the Store Magic uh, SVSAN setup wizard. If we click finish now, we can minimize this. If we go and check in the services um, console, and we scroll down to we might need to do a refresh on this. And if we scroll down, we should see the Store Magic Discovery and the Witness Service running. They're set to automatic. We've got an IP address up there 1010196.85. And the host name for this machine is SB 
dn-windows29-01.ts.storemagic.com. So let's come out of this uh, server. Let's go into uh, my demo lab in VMware and have a look and see if we can see that in discovery. Okay, so two node cluster, our virtual storage appliances are here and we have the two VSAs here. I've got one virtual storage appliance already open. So go, let's go and have a look at the GUI here. Um, we'll click on the discovery tab. Now, I did pause this video um, because you can see down here, there's our, our witness. I had some issues with DNS, so I've had to manually add this witness to both of the virtual storage appliances. So you can see there, uh, the discovery was done by manual. How did I do this? Um, I just clicked on add entry and put the host name in and the IP address and, and then clicked apply. And I had to do this on both VSA. So if we go and have a look at the other VSA, just to show you that, um, go to the plugin. Now, of course, if you've got DNS all configured okay, um, it should just uh, automatically pick up. And discover the, the, the witness. So let's just let's just log into this VSA as well, just to show you that I on the discovery tab here, I've got my Windows server with the witness deployed, but it was the discovery here was a manual. And again, I simply went in here, added the entry, added the host host name and the IP address, that 1010 196 85, clicked apply, and it appears in the discovery tab here. So my witness is online. Now, in this environment here, swap those over. I have a target here, um, M00DS1. And you can see there I have a witness which happens to be my vCenter. Now, if I want to change the witness to that, uh, win that uh, witness that we've just deployed on that Windows server, I can click on, on my target here, click edit, and I can drop down here to the witness. And we should see, yeah, there we are, SBDN Windows 29, uh, 2019-1. I can select that. Click apply on that target. And now we now have uh, the witness for that target as SBDM witness uh, 2019-01. If I come back into the targets there, you can see that we have our new witness that we've deployed. It's online. Uh, if I wanted to, if I go into discovery as well, and I want to see how many what targets are assigned to the different witnesses. I can just click on here and you can see the targets that are witnessed by uh, is this one here. So M0DS1, which we've just assigned as the witness. If I'm creating new VMFS data stores, whether that be from the VSA or the plugin, I can just deploy out a shared data store here. Give this another one, DS2, so DS3, a small amount, five. Next, and we should see now, it's actually appeared at the top of the list. So SBDN Windows 2019, I can select that as my witness and continue. I'm gonna cancel this, just to show you that that witness is now available um, when you're creating targets. So. I hope that's been useful. So what, just to summarize, we've installed the witness on a, a Windows server. We've gone into our, um, our my VM demo lab. We've gone onto one of the virtual storage appliances. And normally this, if DNS is configured the in discovery, that witness would have been picked up. I added those manually on both sides and it's made that witness available. And then we've changed one of the targets and pointed it to the new witness that we witness that we've created on that windows server i hope that's been useful i look forward to seeing you again soon thank you very much mm -hmm.